simple application of the Gaussian approximation. A coin is tossed 400 times. Find the probability of obtaining 215 heads. Okay, so first of all, when we toss a coin, we can get a head or tail or a side. So if we neglect the probability that we can have a side, we will have equal probability to a good approximation of getting a head or tail by symmetry. So neglecting the chance that a coin can land on the side, we have for the probability P is the probability of uh, getting a head equals to Q probability of tail which is equal to one half so we have p plus q is equal to one so when we toss a coin we can get a, a head or tail with equal uh, probability so uh, the total number of coins capital n uh, total number of coins is 400 so I note that this is a large number uh, so strictly speaking the probability of getting uh, for capital N coins n of them being heads so n is number of coins uh, landing head topmost uh, we would have combinations of capital N objects taken N at a time P to the N Q to the capital N minus N so this would be capital N factorial N capital N minus N factorial N factorial P to the N, Q to the capital N minus N. But uh, as we have shown in this video on week 314 Gaussian distribution, uh, we know that for large N, the binomial distribution can be approximated with a Gaussian distribution. So we have found out that the binomial distribution becomes a Gaussian distribution for a large n, uh, the probability distribution function a probability distribution can be approximated as 1 over square root 2 pi capital NPQ exponential minus 1 half N minus NP divided by square root capital NPQ squared. Uh, here actually the mean value of n is capital NP and the standard deviation of n is square root NPQ so uh, this is actually 1 over square root 2 pi delta n tilde the standard deviation exponential minus 1 half n minus n bar divided by delta n tilde square. So this is basically our Gaussian distribution. So how, do, how did we reach this conclusion? So let's uh, review for uh, 
for a while. So we define a u sub i is equal to 1 if i coin lands uh, with head and 0 if i coin lands with tail. Uh, so the total number of heads is sum i equals 1 to capital N uh, u sub i. And if you want to calculate n bar, this is i equals 1 to capital N u sub i bar, which is i equals 1 to N u sub i bar. And a coin lands with head up with probability p and with tail probability q. So u i bar is u bar. It's the same for all coins. They're identical and statistically independent uh, events. So I would have with probability p a value of 1 and with probability q a value of 0. So u bar would be p. So this would be i equals 1 to capital N p, which is capital N p. So I have shown that N bar is capital N p. And as for the standard deviation, we have N square bar minus N bar square square root. It's actually the variance of uh, N square root. Uh, now for N square, we have uh, sum i equals 1 to capital N u sub i multiplied with sum j equals 1 to N u sub j and this is sum i equals 1 to capital N u sub i squared the, the similar terms and sum i j from 1 to N i is not equal to j u i u j cross terms so when we take the average value of uh, this, we get uh, capital N times U square bar plus capital N, capital N minus 1, U bar squared, U I U J average value is U I average value, U J average value, which is U bar squared. So uh, for n square bar minus m bar uh, square, we basically get capital N times uh, u square bar minus u bar squared, which is capital N times the variance of uh, u. Now, uh, u bar was p. What is u square bar? u square bar is uh, 1 square with probability p, 0 square with probability q, so it's also p. So uh, delta n square bar would give us capital N times uh, u square bar, which is p, minus u bar square, which is p squared, capital N p, 1 minus p, which is capital N p q. So for delta n tilde, we would have the square root of the variance delta n square bar, which is square root mpq indeed. So uh, what we have shown here is that uh, basically the Gaussian distribution has these terms, uh, the standard deviation of n and n bar, where n bar is given by capital NP and delta n tilde is given by square root mpq. So uh, for 400 coins, we are looking for the probability of 400 coins with n equals 215. 215 of them will be landing uh, head uh, up uh, upmost. Uh, I need to know what is n bar. n bar is capital N P, which is 400 divided by 2. So that is 200. Then I need to know delta n tilde, which is square root N P Q. That is square root 400, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So that would be 10. Square root of 100, that is 10. 
So uh, for this one, let me do it here. The probability of having out of 400 coins, 215 of them landing uh, head up is 1 over uh, 10 square root 2 pi exponential minus 1 half uh, n minus n bar so it is 215 minus 200 divided by uh, the standard deviation 10 squared so this would give me 1 over 10 square root 2 pi exponential minus 1 half uh, 15 divided by 10 uh, 1.5 uh, squared so that would give us uh, for the final answer probability of 400 coins with 215 landing heads up is 1 over uh, 10 square root 2 pi e to the minus uh, 2.25 over uh, 2 which is 1.1125 so if you calculate this number the probability of 400 n equals 215 is z approximately 0 0.013 Okay, so uh, this is a simple application of the uh, Gaussian uh, distribution. Uh, we have 400, uh, we have a coin that is tossed 400 times. What is the probability of obtaining 215 heads? This is equivalent to saying you have an ensemble of 400 coins which are tossed at the same time. We're looking at the uh, probability of getting 215 with heads up. Uh, now we are neglecting the chance that a coin can also land with uh, on a side, so it can it can land with equal probability, head or tail up, which is one half one half. So for total number of coins four hundred, that is very large number. Uh, we can approximate the binomial distribution to the Gaussian distribution, which is given by one over square root two pi standard deviation of n exponential minus one half parentheses squared of deviation from the mean divided by standard deviation squared so uh, i have shown explicitly i have reminded you basically n bar is capital np and delta n tilde is square root npq this is an exercise we have done uh, many times before uh, and finally by substituting for the mean value 200 and standard deviation 10 we can obtain from the gaussian distribution the probability it has a numerical value close to 0 0.013